Hello. <laughs> All right, folks. Now, this is what happens with the camera when it's down there. I look like a giant, and if you get a little calabrese next to me, I look even taller. But then this is what happens. How are you going? <laughs> I'm down here. Now, folks, uh, on the topic uh, of citrus, because we've had a lot of emails coming through uh, regarding citrus trees, it is winter and don't expect too much to happen with your citrus trees. Now the problems that I've been getting or e emails receiving about problems is yellowing. Quite common this time of the year for them to discolour. Now before I go further, there is a playlist bar on our YouTube channel where you can find your topic. In particular citrus trees, you'll be able to see all the different videos we've done on citrus from propagating, transplanting, uh, root problems, discolouring, disease, insect, grafting as well. So check it all out. You'll be able to get all the information and don't forget to like us on our Facebook page because we love likes. We love loves too, but just likes is enough for now. What we want to talk about here today is just a quick recap on our citrus trees here. This is our little fire pit area that we sit down on every other day besides today and uh, chill out with a little bit of a bonfire. We've got our citrus trees now. We did this and you remember if you well check it out on our youtube channel you'll be able to see all the different um, videos one we did here was initially planting them in terracotta pots versus plastic pots versus grow pots and that's what i've got them in now the felt bags here the grow pots i've transplanted the citrus trees into these they were going backwards because they weren't breathing well they had a lot of topsoil mixed in these are all trials now we've brought them back to life and quite happy as far as the results are discoloration yeah come here this is discoloration. This tree had dropped all its leaves, or most of its leaves, as you can see. Now it's pushing new ones, and there's a little bit of fruit going on here. There's a lot of little flowers coming on, which means the fruit's going to come on. Now, tip, yellow, yellowing on the tips there. Could be what? It's not magnesium, not manganese. It could be nitrogen or ammonium, which is causing that, the sulfate of ammonia, which is lacking in the soil. You can fix that. Eco Butch, real simple. Just put some of that in there, liquid feeding them this time of year is great, or even blood and bone you can apply around the base on that. So that's holding off. That was going completely yellow. We were able to stop that. If you're having problems with yellowing on your trees, reduce the watering. If your fruit's splitting, reduce the watering. If it's raining, I know you can't do that. You need calcium back in the soil or magnesium again. That will stop the fruit from splitting, especially your oranges and mandarins, which is which what it means is the fruit's starting to ripen, it's sucking up all the moisture out of the ground and it's going straight to the fruit and the lack of calcium stops the fruit from being more pliable and more sort of juicy and succulent, meaning able to grow bigger. So guess what? Yeah, apply your black grid. Mandarin, it's okay. This sort of discoloring of the, I don't know, I'm not sure how you're seeing this on the camera there or on the video, but to me it's a little bit of a lime green color, uh, olive green, sorry. So that is an overwintering color for me, and that's okay. You can feed that up. It's a small tree. On the larger trees, I'd be really worried about. Over here, this is what? This is another orange or mandarin. See, I can't even remember what I planted. It's a mandarin, honey mercot. Okay, this side got eaten by the, the, uh, the horse, it's going to grow back. Yeah, these are stable. For this time of the year, these are very stable and okay. And if you've got a tree that's lanky with lots of fruit on it, start harvesting and do cut it back by about 30% is all you need to do to stop it from becoming really sort of top, uh, top heavy and, and falling over all the branches looking like they're going to break off. So check out our YouTube channel, you know, scroll through our Facebook page, you'll see lots of videos there in the past. If you can find our Facebook page, because I don't know how to do that, but it's Facilities Garden Official, something like that. I'm being stared at like I'm an old man. <laughs> well, I'm getting there, folks. Uh, I've been enjoying my videos over the last 20 years. I'll keep doing some for you, don't worry. I'm not going away any, anytime soon. But in the meantime, check out our website, FaciliesGarden.com, and enjoy all the wonderful products that we have online for you. From Eva Silly, Maresi.